My name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and you are listening to or watching Bridges, a weekly showcase of a single content creator in Japan and their content. This is episode number 35, and today we are featuring the video and website stylings of Mr. Life UTV and all of his content, which can be found on the appropriately named site lifeu.tv. Uh, Life UTV is a video project that combines videos with blogging, but I wouldn't necessarily call it a vlog or a vlog. On the Life UTV website, there are quite an impressive number of posts, all accompanied by a short video, and in many cases, a collection of photographs. As far as I know, it's a unique project out of Japan, and I'm always very impressed by how much video the creator is able to produce on a consistent basis.、Uh, so, Because this project uses the website as the main hub of the content, we're going to use our usual website format, put 10 minutes on the clock, and see how much we can see.、Uh, but on a quick side note,、uh, because this is a very video heavy website, I'll be cutting away every now and again to show the embedded video in full screen in all of its、uh, high definition glory. So once again, 10 minutes on the clock, and let's see how much we can see. So, of course,、uh, why don't we start with how about About Us to give a little overview of the website? Hmm, seems to be loading a little bit slowly today. Oh, here it comes. Life U TV was founded in December of 2009 with the goal to become the first Japan related video website.、Uh, Life U TV provides video made in Japan and acts as a window、uh, open on Japan's life to let you discover the real Japan. Every post is made with video, maps, and lots of pictures. So, more than only video, you can find thousands of pictures on the website too. Content will improve and hopefully become better with time. I assure you, it has over the past couple years.、Uh, doing video and taking pictures takes a lot of time and obviously a lot of money too. So, we would be very happy if you could share and or comment on the videos. Don't hesitate to contact us or give your opinion.、Uh, ask for a request or simply to say hello. じゃあまたね、is what he says. <laughs> Very friendly guy.、Um, I've only corresponded with him through、uh, the internet,、uh, but he seems like a nice guy. So,、uh, why don't we go back to the、uh, homepage and、uh, check out some of his、uh, video posts? All right. So,、uh, why don't we take a look at the featured video? It's the first one. This is、uh, Mount Takao, a sacred mountain near Tokyo. So, let's、uh, load this one up. I'll read you the short blurb to the video before I actually play it. A product of certified Japan. <laughs> Interesting. Mount Takao, a sacred mountain near Tokyo.、Uh, Mount, Mount Takao is a mountain near Tokyo, standing 599 meters tall and located within an hour of downtown Tokyo. It's a popular hiking spot with eight hiking courses and more than 2.5 million annual visitors. The Tama Forest Science Garden is also located at the mountain's base. So,、uh, you'll notice in addition to the video、uh, embedded very prominently on this,、uh, the top of this post, you see a short little、uh, blog entry as well as an embedded、uh, Google map so you can find out exactly where this video was shot and、uh, in this case where the mountain is. And in addition to that, he's got quite a few photos,、uh, quite a few very nice photos, including.、Uh, How to ride the gondola, <laughs> as well as some、uh, beautiful pictures of the、uh, fall foliage. So, again, lots of video and lots and lots of photographs. All right, well, of course,、uh, I'm not going to waste your time by showing you all of those photos.、Uh, why don't we play the video? Enjoy, guys.
So that's all I'm going to show you of this video for now. Of course, if you want to see the rest, and I would highly recommend that you uh, take a look, you have to go over to his website, lifeu.tv. Uh, but of course, why don't we jump back to the homepage and uh, take a look at some other parts of his website. So uh, in addition to uh, having quite a few videos, he also uh, lists a lot of these videos by city, uh, region, as well as by topic. So uh, why don't we take a look at the video listings by city, and uh, we'll go to everyone's uh, favorite city, Tokyo, wow, which is even broken into even more subdivisions. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, I, I certainly am into electronics. Why don't we go to the Akihabara section of the Tokyo video category. Let's see if there's anything interesting about uh, anime technology or subculture. Hmm, seems to be loading. Oh, here we go. All right, so uh, why don't we take a look at uh, one of these posts. How about uh, Akihabara by day, by night? How about by night? Sounds very dramatic. We'll take a look. This was posted on uh, January 27th of 2010, so about a year ago. Akihabara by night. Another video of Akihabara by night. Enjoy the light and sounds, people. Again, a short post, but accompanied by a beautiful video. So let's take a look at this next video, uh, Akihabara by night. So uh, why don't we stop here? Um, again, you can check out the remaining uh, about 50 seconds of this video. So you'll notice that uh, this is a video not of somebody holding a camera at arm's length and uh, just chatting or talking about their experiences, giving their opinions. This is really just supposed to give you a taste, a feel of what it's like in these various locations around Japan. And, and it is incredibly diverse. You'll notice the first video we showed was of a mountain, probably in the countryside, or I would imagine on the outskirts of Tokyo. Whereas uh, this particular video is of Akihabara, kind of in the center of Tokyo, one of the major hubs of this urban center. Um, so why don't we jump to uh, maybe one last video before we wrap up the show. Why don't we check out uh, videos by topics and uh, see if there's anything interesting here. So uh, why don't we move away from uh, the busy streets of the city and the uh, bustling <laughs> crowds and uh, maybe take a look at uh, how about some events. <clears throat> I assume some festivals, perhaps, some concerts. All right, so we've got a bunch of different what look like videos about festivals. Uh, why don't we take a look at the <clears throat> uh, Mitama Matsuri, 2011. At night, millions of people and 30,000 lanterns. Wow, that's quite a few lanterns. This was posted on uh, July 19th, 2011. So actually just a couple months ago, this past summer. So let me read a little bit about the Mitama Matsuri 2011. Uh, the Mitama Matsuri, or Festival of Lights, is held in Tokyo from July 13th to 16th in the Yasukuni Shrine, located near the station uh, Kudanshita, uh, also accessible from the Ichigaya Station Sobu Line. The Yasukuni Shrine is a Shinto shrine dedicated to all the soldiers uh, who died for their country since the Meiji Restoration. It honors more than 2 million Japanese soldier souls uh, died in imperial wars. There's also a war museum in this temple, and of course, each year the Mitama Matsuri is held, which is intended to appease the souls of fallen warriors since 1853. So once again, as usual, we have a very lovely video prominently displayed at the top of this post, as well as a map, exactly where it is, and 
tons and tons of pictures of this particular festival. So uh, we're running out of time, so this is going to be the last video I'm going to show you. Again, uh, enjoy this video titled uh, Mitama Matsuri 2011. At night, millions of people and 30,000 lanterns. Enjoy, guys. So, uh, as usual, I'm going to have to cut you guys off. Uh, there's another about five minutes uh, remaining of this video, and I would uh, recommend that you all head over to LifeUTV's website to check out the remaining portion of this uh, very interesting video all about the Mitama Matsuri. And um, I think that's about it. Uh, so, once again, uh, please uh, head over to lifeu.tv, that's uh, L-I-F-E-Y-O-U.tv, to check out uh, this post, uh, these posts featured on today's episode, as well as hundreds of other videos and posts about a very wide variety of topics uh, all about Japan. So uh, thank you once again uh, all for listening to or watching episode number 35 of Bridges. Please uh, feel free to get in touch with us over at bridges at wanwan.fm with any comments, questions, or suggestions for future content creators to be featured on the show. Once again, my name is Hiroki Matsuchi, and this is Bridges. Thank you for watching, guys. See you next week.